my Virago became an off-road machine. Let the story begin. I bought this bike from my grandpa back in May of 2021. Getting the bike started for the first time in years. She smoked up the whole block. Gave her a nice bag. The gas tank was rotten and rusty. The fork seals were bad, so I ordered new ones. Started stripping the bike down. Really stripped. Rebuilt the forks. Then I had my accident. While I was healing, my grandpa got into a car accident and passed away. He was an amazing person and great friend. We would hang out and drink beers and shoot guns. I really miss him and wish he was still here. I had to hurry and get the bike back together to ride it to his funeral. The bike had all sorts of issues, such as leaking gas. Finally got a not rusty gas tank off eBay. This gas tank was for 1100 Viraga, which had a fuel pump, so I couldn't use a petcock. These handlebars had to go. New grips and handlebars. All that rusty gas leaking on the engine made it real dirty. I got it cleaned up. Finally testing. Finally no more fuel leaks. Finally back to riding this bike again. The fork seals started leaking again, so I just went on eBay and found forks from a Virago 700 for $50. I couldn't remove the broken bolt for the mirror, so I replaced the whole reservoir. I am finally able to add a mirror. Finally, two mirrors. Let's repaint this tank. And the fender. Looking better. I put my favorite quote from my grandpa on the tank. That looks pretty good. The tank looks good too. She is starting to look pretty good. At this point I'm daily riding her. I wanted gold lettering. So I painted all the lettering gold. Along with the back tire. That gold pops. It was running lean with the cold air intake. So I needed bigger jets. No pet cock, so have to remove the fuel. Every time you take the gas tank off. That new gas tank still had some crud in it. Always work in comfort, especially when pulling Virago carbs off. I hate pulling these carbs out. Anyways, let's get them jets installed. I ended up just throwing in the biggest jets. Throw these babies back in. Also got a rear brake switch that I never had. Since I've owned this bike, oh yeah, I snapped a clutch cable one day. Also added an external petcock. I started exploring gravel roads and got an itch for off-roading and had an idea. Why don't I make my own adventure bike? The 1984 to 2007 Viragos had a 15-inch rear rim. Nobody makes a dual sport or off-road tire for a 15-inch rim but they do make dual sport tires for a 16 inch rim. The 81 to 83 Viragos had a 16 inch rear rim, but the Virago is shaft driven. A guy on YouTube used a later model rim on his 81 Virago, so I knew it would work. I needed better off-road handlebars. I also needed to lift the rear end for ground clearance. Out with the 11.5 inch stock rear shocks and added 13.5 inch rear shocks from Amazon. Of course, they wouldn't fit out the box, so I had to make them fit. Much smaller now, with a little persuasion. It took some creativity, got it to fit. I almost returned the shocks, still running into issues. In the end, I got them to fit. Oh yeah, that's much better. It also raised the seat height, which was better for me. She's looking like a real adventure bike now. Now to reduce some weight, the sissy bar had to go. While I am here, let's clean these wires up. Looks pretty good. This bike is a blast to off-road with. Thanks for listening to my story. I put a lot of hard work into this bike.